describe myself, I guess, the best about you. So the boys have been up for about an hour. We have breakfast, and they're now watching one of their favorite YouTubers, Dan TDM. He's actually pretty, pretty good. He's clean, funny, and uh, so they like checking him out from time to time, especially if he's playing a game that they are into. So I think right now they're playing Pixel Gun 3D. Is that correct? No, I'm playing Minecraft. Oh, Minecraft. We are in Minecraft right now. So, Minecraft is just ginormous. My kids love it. Walking into first Arizona title. Got to pick up a listing packet. And meet with Vincent Jennifer this evening. Talk about selling their house. I'm going to find a new one. Church. Love people who come to compel. And so we uh, got a mail, time to mail a letter. One of many. We'll be mailing to all our newcomers. Remember, if you're new to compel. If you're not new, you're family. What you playing with, Adina? I play with toys. Yeah? Uh-huh. Dolls? Can you put clothes on them? Let's put clothes on them. Uh-huh. That you'll be this doll and I'll, I'll be this doll and you can be that doll? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, this one is the doll. Okay, and here's Dad. our dolls. That's Daddy's doll and this is Adina's doll. And we got clothes right over here that we can pick from. So, uh... I'll show you what we come up with here in a minute. Okay, here's our first go at it. My girl's got uh, uh, high socks. What's your girl's name? Uh, my, uh, Hers is named Zadina? Okay. I guess this is Adina. Also. This is Adina and this is who do you want her name to be? It's what do you want her Abby name to be? Emma. That's Emma. That's well, this is Emma. Can we? Can she be Abby? Uh -huh. This is Abby and Emma. So, all right, let's give it a go. Round two. Let's see what we come up with. All right, Emma got a little change here, and uh, she has some new shoes because girls need new shoes, and guys do too, really. And then Abby's over here. Adina did that. Did you put her in pink? You like color pink? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That, that my favorite color. That's your favorite color? Oh, you're so sweet. Okay. Well, let's put a new outfit on them. Okay? Okay. All right, there's Abby. Dina mixes it up a little bit. She went purple with pink. You like Abby now? Mm-hmm. She's pretty, yeah. And then I got Emma over here. She's getting a little funky. I don't know if I should give her like a hat or something. You like the hat, no hat? Let me know in the comments. Hat, no no hat. Oh, look at that. I like Adina's hat. She's just got all, it's like a color explosion right there. It's red and black. Red and black, yeah, you're right. Okay, one last outfit we're gonna show you. Then you can pick your favorite. Oh, here's Abby. Uh, Dina got her back in pink with a red hat. All right. She's looking good. And then here's Emma. Got her going in the purple pinkish vein here. I dressed her warm. You know it's like 107 or 108 or something like that today here in Phoenix. But you know what? You can uh, pick your favorite outfit we did in the comments. Describe it. Let us know. Was it Emma or Abby? And which outfit did you like the best? Or what parts did you like the best? And maybe next time we'll do your favorite one. Zoe's making a card for Levi's. She can't quite spell yet, but she's telling Judo what she wants written, and then he's writing it down for her. And the birthday cards, that's awesome. So far we have, thank you for inviting me to the pool party. Happy birthday. And there's another card. Can you show it to me? 
Adina made a card too. I said. Zoe wrote Levi on there, so that's a good job. <laughs> You're getting pretty good at letters. So it is Friday, and my work week is done. I'm super excited about that, and it's going to be a good weekend. We have a few things planned, church on Sunday, so lots of good stuff happening. But one of the things I wanted to get done for um, tomorrow, I have these 3D butterfly stickers that I want to put on the wall in the girls' room. Now that Adina is out of her crib and in a big girl bed, I really want to start getting that room decorated. And I was originally thinking I would put these stickers I feel like they have to come from somewhere or fly to somewhere so I was originally thinking they could like come up from their from their uh, table in their room or from their toy box but I'm really just worried that they will um, that the girls will pick them off the wall and that would be no good so you know a couple weeks ago I was thinking trying to figure out what I could do with these and I don't know, I thought it would be cool to maybe hang a picture of a tree, frame it and hang it on their wall, and then put the stickers like coming out from the tree and up toward the ceiling. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. And I went to Michael's today on my lunch break and got a frame, and I found a printable tree on Etsy. So I'll show you what that looks like. Well, I got the tree framed. And I'm in a video. <laughs> <laughs> so she's excited about having this pretty tree on her wall. And the butterflies. And butterflies. Well, she hasn't the color, seen those yet. Yeah, but what color are they going to be? What color are the butterflies going to be? Mm -hmm. They're red. Red, okay. Yeah, they'll be pretty. Yeah, I hope. You hope? You don't sound very convinced. <laughs> Let's see if we can find them. I said butterfly. And here are the red butterfly stickers. And I'm playing with one. Yeah, so he's playing with one. Ah! Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot of them, but I'm hoping it'll work and we can arrange them so it'll be cute. And that's also a tiny one. <laughs> yeah. So we'll work on that part of it tomorrow and get the picture hung, but yeah. <laughs> we're excited. It should be cute. I really decided. <laughs> so I just finished this book, Mindset, How We Can Learn to Fulfill Our Potential uh, by Carol Dweck. It was honestly one of the best books I've probably ever read. Uh, talked a lot about people who have fixed mindsets and growth mindsets. Reality is we probably all have areas where we have fixed mindsets in our life um, and how we can move to getting growth mindset oriented. So it talks, like I said, a lot about fixed and growth mindsets. Fixed mindsets really just believe that they are innately God-given talents and if they really excel at something, it's just because they're good at it. And so they're all about achievement and they don't really push themselves as hard as a growth mindset person because they believe that if they fail, that it's an indictment on them as a person. It's not just about the opportunity. Whereas growth mindset believe that we can grow and we can master new skills. We can become better even at things that we may be seemingly terrible at. Even in things like drawing a, a picture, you might think that you just can't be an artist, but the reality is you just may not have the ability or skill to see things naturally the way that others do, but you can actually learn it if you'll take classes and put your mind to it. And so uh, growth mindset really sees things as opportunities to learn, and whereas the fixed mindset sees things as challenges or obstacles that are, are going to cause them to fail. And so it's a lot more, uh, failure is a lot more about the person instead of the actual situation. And so I really encourage you, if you haven't uh, ever read it, pick it up. It's Mindset by Carol Dweck. It's on Amazon for like 12, 13 bucks, something like that. So pick one up, read it, highly recommend it. 6.35, come down in the middle of the hallway here to the living room. Adina has had a long day. Apparently she she taken that nap. Oh, a little glimmer of life. She's tired, folks. Dad woke her up a little bit, so she went and grabbed a pillow and a blanket. Came back to the very same spot, and she's out for the count. She's asleep. She is asleep. 
<laughs> now Carrie are upstairs and it's bedtime. Wait, now? No, not yet. We'll let her stay there for a little bit. Can you so guess what? It's the time for two guys to quiet. I no, guess. let's not bother her. She's got a rush. She's tired. But what, we can do it. So what we got? Just let her sleep. This what? No, your sister. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let her be, okay? <laughs> so, getting ready to do our listing presentation this evening with Vince and Jennifer. Gotta get all the materials ready. Ready to go. So much good stuff in here. Lots of info. If you want to sell your home, it can help you. So, getting ready to do that, and then went over to First Arizona Title Agency today and picked up the uh, property profile listing packet there for their home that's going to be hitting the market here probably in the next week or two, so be looking for that. Thank you to Gloria Armstrong and Wendy Mueller for uh, getting this all together for me. It looks so pretty. So pretty. But, uh, let you know how it goes, and we'll show you a few pics once we get to actually listen to the house. <laughs> hey, I'm here with Vince and Jennifer. Hey guys, how you doing? We're doing great. Getting ready to uh, list their place. So if you are looking for a place in Glendale, oh yes. my goodness, we have them coming to the market <laughs> here in the next month or so. Look at this kitchen, come on. Stainless steel appliances, looking good. Granite countertops, oh my goodness. This could be yours. <laughs> Come end of June, early July. Say bye. 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 Hey, Josh. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> hey, it's Friday night. We have made it to the weekend. Finally. Carol barely made it, but she made it. <laughs> it's all that matters. Yep. <laughs> Had a good day. Carol did uh, some, well, she picked up some stuff to do some decorating. She'll be doing that, that tomorrow, so you can Exciting. check that out. How many days you got left of P90X3? One. One left. It's the first time I've ever completed one of their programs, so I'm pretty excited about it. She's a mad woman. <laughs> Workout fiend. I love it. So uh, I got to go visit Vince and Jennifer, talk to them about listing their place. We'll be hitting the market later this month, so that's always a good thing. We've got some other stuff going on as well, so we'll share the real estate side of things with you a little bit later. I uh, got to do some dress-up dolls or... <laughs> with Adina she loved it's it really cute <laughs> it was so tell us what your favorite was all right she just loved doing it so uh we will see you tomorrow Saturday we got a birthday party we'll let you in on that Levi's birthday party Zoe and Adina are going it's gonna be a blast I'm sure we'll hit up Costco do some other fun stuff so we will see you tomorrow bye yeah